So sorry the light's gonna go crazy a little bit. Um, that's just how my camera works. So anyway, let's get started talking about these products. Okay, the Good to Glow highlighter. This says it's a highlighter, so I'm not. I'm still don't know. Like I'm really not sure. Instant buildable illuminator and highlighter, light reflecting pigments look for a radiant and luminous look. Um, the lightweight liquid texture can be used on face and decollete and can be worn alone or blended with foundation for a subtle all over glow. Okay, so I use this today as a primer. Um, I'm sure you can use makeup any way you want, but I'm not, this obviously was not intended for a primer. But since you can mix it with your foundations, it can still add a little bit of a glow, so I don't think it matters too much. Anyway, this is nice. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a swatch. It is in the shade 001 Notting Hill Glow. Um, it's it's like white. That's it blended out right there. So, um, and it says you can build it, so let's just see if we can. Put a little bit more on top. So yeah, it, that was buildable right there. Again, I didn't use it as a highlighter. Um, in fact, I forgot to use my actual highlighter that I got for the specific, I cannot talk, the specific purpose of highlighting. So that's kind of a bummer, but I'll do that in a minute, maybe. Um, all right, so the next thing is the foundation. Um, I have a full review on this foundation, um, and I will let you guys go take a look at that so I don't really have to talk about it. This is in the shade 100 Ivory, um, and I do not remember the shade that I got in my last, in my full review on this foundation, but this, I think, is a touch too dark for me. Um, it's looking okay on my skin at this point, again, Nothing special. Go take a look at that review if you're interested in that foundation. That came out a while ago. And again, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it, I feel like Rimmel foundations have, you know, gone the way of the dodo. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? Anyway, the point is they're they're getting rid of a lot of their foundation. They kept the Stay Matte one and then that 25-hour uh, breathable one. So that's the one I tried today. The Stay Matte is okay. All right, next thing is this palette. I Again, I forgot to put my highlighter on. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Oh. The highlighter's a little dusty. Hmm. Oh, it's pretty. All right, so this palette um, is not bad. It's not the most amazing palette I've ever used or seen or heard about. Um, but, you know, it's okay. Um, it's got everything you need. The uh, Let me give you a swatch of all the colors. Highlighter bronzer slash contour and then the uh, blush they had different shades I don't know if you can see them they look really um uh, lightly pigmented but they're they work fine um, so uh, they had different shades like three different palettes of these not bad the highlighter was a little bit dusty but the rest of them seemed fine um, oh I forgot to talk about the concealer I think this was pretty pretty good um, I'll have to check it in my inside light um, just because um, Things just look different when you're inside with artificial light. But it's got the, um, this is also a highlighter. Um, I don't know, man. That It doesn't look like there's any shimmer. It says highlight, conceal, contour. Um, I'll give you a swatch of all of them. The concealer was a good, pretty decent shade um, for my under eyes. So I don't know. I think I'm going to give this another go. Um, and just see how I actually feel about it. I'll put all my updated thoughts, of course, in the description below. This is just kind of a first impression um, chat about these things. All right, so uh, the powder, it's okay. Nothing amazing. I like the RK uh, by Kiss powder foundation better. Um, it's just a powder to me. No, nothing. Don't care about it. <laughs> all right, so the eyeliner. Um, not a fan so far simply because I don't like the the way the brush tip feels on my eyes. I'll give you a swatch of it. It's really black. I mean, not crazy black. I've had blacker eyeliners. Yeah, so it's not as black as I was, would like, but I, I do not like the tip. It was annoying to my eyes. Didn't like the way that felt. So that's a pass for me. Not a terrible liner, just not for me. All right, the Wonder Lash um, Waterproof Mascara with Argan Oil. This one... Um, it made my eyelashes look less, like I actually have less than what I actually have. So I am not a fan of this one. The formula was really thin and um, 
uh, wet feeling so it was it didn't plump up my lashes and give them a lot of volume and and uh, length I mean length okay I mean but not really like I don't know this one I I'm just not a fan of it I just don't think it's a good mascara so that's that and the last thing is lips and this stay satin liquid lip color is it's not uh it doesn't it, it's called a liquid lip color and that's really what it is it's not like a dry down matte or even a dry down metallic type liquid lipstick it's just a liquid lip color and it's not, I don't think it's satin. It feels more like a lip cream, like a matte lip cream, but it's really, it's pretty comfortable. Like my lips feel very moisturized right now. They might not look that great because this, I don't know if it's the color of the formula, but it's making my lips look a little bit chalky. Um, it could just be the color, maybe some of the white pigment that's in there. Anyway, um, I don't think this is terrible though. So, but it's not like one of those dry down budge proof lip products. Um, and the color, I'm kind of on the fence about. I kind of like it, but I kind of feel like it might be making my teeth look a little bit yellow and might not be that great of a color for me. I don't know. I kind of like it, but I'm kind of on the fence about it. So anyway, that's just the color, which is 200 Psych. Um, not bad. I'll put all the prices and everything in the description below just so that I don't have to keep rambling on and on about stuff. So things I would use again, I would use again this Good To Glow uh, highlighter. I would use the um, the Conceal Contour highlight palette um, just to see. I would use this one again. Um, what else? That's it. I think that's all that I would use again. Um, all of these products I purchase myself, and if I don't love them, like love, love, love them, they go back. Um, I don't keep anything that I don't love because I can't, number one, I can't afford it, and number two, um, I don't want all a bunch of products cluttering up my life because I'll never be able to use them all anyway, so I only keep the products that I truly love. Um, so if I end up loving any of these products and decide to keep them, I'll put that in the description as well so you guys will kind of know which ones were my were decent enough that I would say they deserve maybe a try. But okay, so that's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.